It's a game of Pac-Man, and this game is out of this world. The players include red, green, and blue, hydrogen alpha, uh, sulfur two, oxygen three. I have color, I have black and white. I even have polka dots when you talk about the stars. Let's take a look at the Pac-Man Nebula. Welcome to Heavenly Backyard Astronomy. Hi, I'm Pat Prokop, and I remember way, way back, uh, I think it was in the 70s, early 70s at that, a game called Pong, one of the first games, uh, video games that was uh, computerized. And quickly following Pong came the game Pac-Man, a little gremlin that was uh, eating up everything that went around it. Anyway, there is a nebula up in the sky. Uh, that looks a lot like the little character of Pac-Man. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. And if you're new watching this channel, thank you for watching. And uh, I do a lot of astrophotography from my own backyard in a Bortle four, about 4.5 uh, light pollution region in the south side of Savannah, Georgia. And the telescope I use is the Orion Eon triplet 130 millimeter scope. And it's sitting on the uh, Skywatcher EQ6R Pro mount. And I've been getting some really good tracking with this lately. And when I shot the uh, uh, Pac-Man Nebula, for example, I've been using five minute and 10 minute exposures, getting some good results too, some very good tracking along with that. But the, uh, uh, I also have other telescopes involved uh, in the heavenly backyard. I have the uh, Celestron C11 on a CGX mount. I also have the Orion ED80, which is an 80 millimeter telescope, and that sits on an AVX mount. So anyway, welcome aboard, and thank you for watching, and please subscribe to my channel if you like. And also, if you like the video, please hit the like button on the bottom, and if you have any comments, mm -hmm, please put them down at the bottom. I try to answer all the comments that uh, people ask me, and there's a lot of good questions that come along. Now, the camera I used was the uh, ZWO ASI 1600 monochrome camera with the uh, filter wheel, and the filters include the color of uh, RGBs, the red, green, and blue. I also use the hydrogen alpha, the oxygen three, and the sulfur two, all at seven um, nanometers on the narrow band uh, filter side. We've been enjoying some very clear weather for the past several nights, and with that, I've been using the Orion Eon triplet, the 130 millimeter uh, telescope, uh, with the Orion reducer that takes it down from an F7 uh, to an F5.3, I believe, and uh, that gives me a nice wide field of view. I've been shooting over several nights up in the northeastern sky, following up to the northern sky, uh, with these super clear nights that we've been having. So I've been enjoying the game of Pac-Man, if you want to call it that, astronomically speaking. But uh, let's take a look at some of the, uh, the, uh, the images and how I recorded the images, mostly using Nina. Let's go upstairs. All right, so the first thing we want to do is set up Nina. So let's open up Nina. There's the profile for the ASI 1600 monochrome camera. Connect all devices. Okay, let's do it. And Nina will take care of it from here. Everything is connecting. Start the cooling of the camera. I'm going to take it down to minus 10 degrees Celsius. So the next thing I want to do is let's go and get the target centered. And this is NGC 281. NGC 281. And there's a bunch of 281s in there, but let's get the IC11-281, uh, which is the Pac-Man Nebula. There it is right there. And I can um, have the computer set up a sequence through Nina and start the camera, uh, unpark the mount. Meridian flip setting is on. If it reaches the meridian, it'll automatically flip. Okay, let's add, let's do a 10 minute exposure. So that's 600 seconds, not 500, 600. There we go. And let's do, let's see, how many do I want to do? Okay. Thirty. 
That's five hours. All right. And I want to get oxygen three. Since the night before, I, I, I got the hydrogen alpha and the sulfur two. So I need to get some more um, uh, oxygen three. But I also need to get a little bit more uh, sulfur and a little bit more hydrogen alpha. So there we go. We're going to do 10 minutes again. And uh, I only need one hour of the uh, sulfur. I'll just do another hour of the uh, oxygen. Or excuse me, hydrogen alpha. And the filters I'm using are, are one and a quarter inch filters for the filter wheel, and they're seven nanometer uh, filters. All right, let's check out the uh, information. Let's go into imagery. Let's take a, a quick picture, see where we are. I look like I'm pretty much in focus already. But I think I'm going to have to run, it's, that, it's a good idea to run an autofocus. I can do that later. But it's in focus enough where I can plate solve. One thing about plate solving, you want to make sure you're in focus. Um, the better in focus you are, the better the plate solving uh, system will run. So, with that in mind, Looking at the camera temperature, it's still cooling. It's down to 7.8, 7.5, going down. I'm using it, uh, I think I'm using 10 minute time frame to cool the camera. You don't want to cool it down too fast or frost or dew might form on the lens, on the sensor covering. All right, now we're going into plate solving here. This is where the focus is important to have a good focus. All right, there's a rough uh, slew. It looks like it's it's got it pretty much in there. You can see it's right over here in the center already, first try. That gets ready to go. As soon as the uh, camera temperature is down to the uh, target temperature, it will start taking images. There you can see it's uh, waiting on the cooling right now. So once the cooling is done, down to the selected temperature, it will start taking the, uh, the images, uh, 600 seconds or 10 minute images. The key is, will the stars be as round as they are now with a 10 minute exposure? That's where the tracking is extremely important. Uh, if you saw my video on polar aligning with Nina, uh, three point polar aligning with Nina, uh, not even needing the North Star, you can, you can point it to the South and still get very good polar alignment. Um, so my, my uh, mount is, is pretty well aligned. So hopefully those stars will be round. All right, we're starting to take the image now. So it'll be a while. It's going to take 10 minutes. I'll see you when the image is just about done. All right, this is the first image. This is the Oxygen 3 data. And 10 minutes, and look how round those stars are. That's pretty. That's a good-looking picture. Nice and round. That's a 10 minute exposure. You look at even a triple star there. Hmm. Let's see about the, uh, what else we got here on the other side. Let's go all the way to the other side. See how well the uh, flattener and the uh, reducer is working. And look at the very edges, nice round stars from um, corner to corner, nice and round. There's a little bit off right there, not much. I mean, that's in the far corner. Come on, give me a break. Look how round that star is. I'll go back to the center. I'm very impressed with that. All right, let's take a look at some of the raw images. First of all, the uh, red image. And there you can see uh, with the red uh, light coming in in the monochrome camera, that's the way the Pac-Man looked there. In the green, it looked like so. And in the blue, like so. You can see the red had most of the color in there. 
Uh, and then if you look at the um, hydrogen alpha, um, this was the hydrogen alpha uh, with the um, night I took the RGB. And then I combined the two together on half and half. And I came up with this right here, which I used to produce the uh, color image. Instead of using the red by itself, I used the red plus the hydrogen alpha with a 50-50 blend on that. And the final process there came out with the uh, Pac-Man in RGB right there. Um, using the RGB color view of that. So if you want to look at the nebula only, I have that right there. And of course the star field are here that I extracted from that using StarNet. But uh, there you have the color RGB. Now, let's take a look at the narrow band though. This is broadband here. Let's go with the narrow band and see how that worked out. We saw a little bit of the narrow band right there with the uh, uh, hydrogen alpha. But uh, going with those 10 minute exposures with the hydrogen alpha, there's the uh, uh, Pac-Man Nebula there in hydrogen alpha. And then looking at the uh, sulfur data, not much. Uh, you got a little bit of a nebulosity there. When you know, compared to that, uh, that's just a little. And what about the oxygen three? Uh, actually, it looks like a, a mix between the hydrogen alpha and the uh, um, sulfur two. But the the oxygen three leans more into the blue spectrum, where the uh, sulfur two uh, rides into the lower end of the red spectrum leaning toward the yellow and the green, but more toward the red itself. But, uh, but then the, uh, the hydrogen alpha itself is more in the dark area of the red. So there you have a lot of hydrogen alpha view from there. So let's see what that looks like when we combine them. So how about the standard um, uh, hydrogen, sulfur, and oxygen, HSO. Basically the red, the green, and the blue. And that's what you get. Uh, it, it looks okay. Well, let's go with the uh, another common um, combination is the hydrogen oxygen oxygen combination of here and that looks a lot like the um, RGB color. When you look at it, it looks a lot like the RGB. Uh, of course I had this one flipped but um, yeah but there you have that one there the hydrogen oxygen oxygen. So let's take a look at the hydrogen, let's see, the, the sulfur hydrogen oxygen, or commonly known as the SHO or the Hubble, Hubble palette, palette. And that's what you first get when you combine the three together. If you want to take a look, let me show you how I did that. Uh, you combine the, the uh, three together. You have the uh, sulfur two, the HA, and the O3. And you combine those together. Uh, here in Pixon site. Let's take a look at what we get here. And you get this greenish color view there. You, you, you get what well, looks like a green. Well, yeah, that makes a lot of sense because you're so heavy in the hydrogen alpha, you have that on the green gun right now. So one of the tricks that we learned to do in Pixon site is to go to SCNR and uh, take out the, uh, the green uh, a lot of it, and the, I use the average neutral. You have all these different selections. I use the average neutral, and I take it at full blast, and then uh, go ahead and correct it, and look what happens. You get that nice blue with the gold, and so forth and so on, and what have you. And then from there, you can take this and get the final output, which I used in Photoshop and uh, took out the, uh, uh, actually I took this image here and passed it through Photoshop to come up with this image here. I, I flipped it, that's why it's upside down. But uh, there you can see the final the product there. So, there you have it. Well, thanks for watching. You know, I really enjoyed shooting this colorful nebula up in the sky. And, uh, you know, all the different ways of shooting it, you know, the same target can look so different just by mixing up the palettes and using different types of filters on the telescope. So, which one do you like the best? Now, I kind of lean toward the SHO one myself. So, thank you for watching. And remember, 
the heavens are filled with majestic glory, just like that Pac-Man nebula up there. And they're all in a sky near you. So unless you need rain, clear skies, everyone. And I got the players. They are red, green, blue. I, uh, three, two, one. Polka dots, when you enter the stars, it's a game that's the players that blah, 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 blah. Stars and no stars. Welcome to Heavenly Backyard Astronomy. Three, two, one. Your uh, telescope with the Orion extender. Reducer. Three, two, one. The instrument I use basically is the Orion triplet, uh, 130 mil, 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 oh, Orion ED80T telescope, uh, which is a uh, uh, 130 millimeter, no, it's not even 130 millimeters. Ooh. Hydrogen alpha, sulfur three, sulfur two, sulfur one, blast off, three, two, one. <laughs> 